Daniel. What's the problem with Homer? You agree with the well, with Simon? Well, obviously my children are all in primary school, so it's totally different. But I just think my kids come home with so much homework. They're so young. I think they should just be allowed to be kids. I think in the schools, the teachers should, should do the jobs. And when the kids come home, they should just be allowed to enjoy themselves, be happy kids. I mean, what's the point in coming home with all these exercises? I agree with doing sort of like spellings and maybe a bit of maths and stuff, but projects and okay. big like, stuff how, on, how, on how, history. Give us an example. So how old are your children now? So Mine you're... are eight, seven, five and one. Okay. So the one-year-old doesn't even go to school So yet. let's say the eight-year-old. What kind of homework is the eight-year-old coming home They come with? home with loads. They'll come home with a lo load of maths homework, a loads of history homework and projects and stuff. And yeah. I get, I'm the one that gets left to do these models. <laughs> okay. And so it's like yeah. I've got four, four three They're models. Making to make. a, she's making a really good point, which is that schools ought to set the right kind of homework. And these silly projects and so on that parents end up doing are a total waste of time. What do you mean by projects? I'm just trying to get my head around it. What, what do we mean by that? Sort of There's building the, something? Yeah, or, building or, a, okay. a ship or yes. whatever. Right. They're well, learning about some... some yeah. 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 So, okay, so that's nonsense. Okay. It is absolutely the case that schools need to set homework that is practice of what has been done at school. Right. It shouldn't be the case that the children are having to figure it out and that the parents are then having to participate. Some parents aren't able to. Some parents say, well, I don't, I don't speak French or I can't right. remember my physics and so on. I get that. Yeah. So what should be happening is that the homework set is practice for what you did at school right. and then the child can just get on with it but my kids come home and sometimes they're like mommy i, I don't know i don't know how to do it and because like, they haven't set the right kind of homework. But so you would, if, you'd agree with that then. So it seems like the spelling. If they've done spelling think, in school today, yeah, to come I home and practice like those spellings. spellings is a good and thing. reading. Like mm. I like to, my kids to read to me. They like reading to the one-year-old little brother. Oh, I think that's, that's nice. really that's good mm. practice. Yeah. But things like when they come home and do history and stuff, like, I don't think it's really relevant. Mm. And actually, what a lot of people are saying is that actually it ends up being the parents having to do half of it. Yes. yes. And then so we don't the want that. end up copying, and you're sort of slightly and the parents well, are slightly more afraid. The teachers and the kids. I, I learned so in such a different way to my kids. Like it, when I went to school, it's just I don't even know what they're doing half the time. Or you've got to practice like a different ways of working things out. It just okay, it's hard. But practice is good. You get good at what you do lots of, and you get good at what you practice. And this idea, I want to reject this idea that children un are unhappy when they do work. In fact, what you want to do from a young age is instill good habits, good work habits, where they can work independently, where they're able to form their own opinions and think for themselves. That happens through getting really good at the basics. Yeah, but how do you, like, so it's busy, right? So you get home, it's four yes. o'clock, you don't really know I what's for tea. Yeah. You just, uh -huh. you knuckered yourself. I know, I know. Talking, for, I'm asking for a friend. This, yeah. <laughs> this is exactly my house at life. I get it. I get my it. kids so, right. strip, no, strip off, it. get in the yeah, get exactly. in their football kits. They want to go outside. All they they want to eat. It's yes. true. And they yeah. want to watch telly. Sit at the table so, so, without make, making it into a massive argument, and it actually just ruins right. okay, your so evening. So one, one, one nice tip for parents, I'd say, are timers. I always say timers are great. You say, let's look. Let's set it at ten minutes. You sit down for ten minutes, and you do this for ten minutes. When the timer goes, bing, we can then do some football, and you get them into that habit. And then in a few weeks, you move that to twelve minutes, and then in a few years, you've moved that to fifteen and 20 and so on. You instill those good habits, so by the time they get to GCSE and they have to do all that revision, mm. it's second nature to them. But don't they and need to unwind, though, Catherine? Well, when course. they come home, they've been studying all day. Yes. Don't they need to come home and unwind? But from four o'clock, you know, you're looking at five, six hours that they've got. I if you spend think half the an hour work that... should stay in, in school, because when we, we, when we go to work, we come home and we're allowed to relax, but, and kids should as well. Well, you that's say that. Not, that's not actually, that's not true. If you, go to, if you, you know? think about work, Work life. A lot of people, you know, they take. You know, if you're working, Indeed, they're taking the home, their work yeah. home as well. well. I mean, and the, the thing idea is, of is that is when children leave school, they want to be able to have those habits of independent learning so that they can become successful. The more you know, the happier you are in life. Mm. You can go to a King Lear Shakespeare play and understand it. Okay. You can get that's on a plane okay and know how it works. Who are, who are naturally clever, like my eight-year-old is naturally clever, and he will just do it. Mm. Whereas my seven-year-old, he's in hysterics. He hates it. He so, can't cope okay. with it. And he so 
really struggle. I, I was just saying to Dad, I want to give her some advice. I want to show how we can do this. Because <laughs> actually, for your seven-year-old, homework is even more important for them. Because those ones are the ones who need the basics instilled. Because I tell you, your seven-year-old, when he's 14, will be a total nightmare if he hasn't got these hab habits instilled in him at a young age. Yeah. I promise you. I'm loving your passion we, about this. We have, <laughs> this is, uh, yeah. we have to. Tremendous we, stuff. Parents just so, need so to what, <laughs> dig deep. So what, they need, I know it's hard, but that's what it is. But you dig deep, you persevere, and you keep on happy. going. And, and they will be. I happy. promise you, they'll I be happier doing homework. <laughs> what he does in life, as long as he's happy, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but can I just say, is there, is there proof that actually kids in primary school who do more homework are happier and do better in secondary school? Does the homework actually... It's the habits. It's, it's the, the habits habit of working. The and then right. when ch children love being successful, Every, all of us love being successful at something, and the more you do something, the better you get at it. But and then you people... keep wanting to do it because you're better at it, and you keep doing more and more and more. But there's people who go to university now and get all these degrees and they can't get a job. Mm. Okay. Well, I mean, that's job. a different conversation, obviously. Mm. One for our government, which is a bit in disarray at the moment. Yeah. But soon they will sort it out and get us jobs. <laughs> 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 oh, no. well, I'm, I'm loving, well, I'm we've got loads that. of comments. So I think. So Jamie on Twitter says, "I think a little is good, but please, I am fed up of my children getting projects to do during the <laughs> holidays." Yeah. Well, and I agree with that. Yeah. That's, that, that, that's a very good point. Um, Sh Sharina says, "Get rid." Kids are at school six hours a day, five days a week, and to expect more at home time is too much for working parents. I'd rather my kids were out doing sports and hobbies in their free time. Well, Which what is I would a lot say of parents say. Is when you so have... many of them just sat at home in front of their computers and things. Yeah, and a get lot of them out in the computer. garden. Get them out playing Well, actually, football. they're spending most of their time on smartphones, and what parents need to do is get them off <clears> the <throat> smartphones, do lots of hobbies, and do half an hour of homework out of the five hours that you've got in the evening, it's not very much, and it will put them in a really good position when they're coming to those GCSEs and Do you have homework time. with the parents if any of the kids at your school don't do their homework? Absolutely. Properly? Is it the parents you're angry with? I, well, I'm not, that, that's too much, that's well, too I mean, harsh a word. I'm a bit but... scared of you, so I think I'm giving <laughs> right. yeah, go on, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good, I'm glad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I can see why you're the strictest head the strictest head. Brilliant, isn't she? I'm so scared. I'm right. Right. Okay, what school do you work for? I'll make sure I won't tell the kids. <laughs> <laughs> and I promise you, if you did, your children would be really happy. And the reason they would is that you would be saying to me, gosh, parents say to us, the children with us, in comparison to children elsewhere, they say, gosh, my, my child really wants to do his homework. He comes home and is really determined and wants to persevere and wants to get through it because he's practicing <laughs> the stuff he learned at school. I don't at think school. they've got much choice. <laughs> <laughs>